Another week has passed and is passing actually rapidly, but we give God thanks for all of his blessings toward us as we continue to labor with unslacking devotion to that which is entrusted us. What is inside us? Luke 1, 14, for indeed, as soon as the voice of your greeting sounded in my ears, the babe leaped in my womb for joy. Elizabeth, Elizabeth, Mary called as she approached her cousin's house. She was only a few months pregnant, but the long walk had made her very tired. Elizabeth, she called again. Mary, Elizabeth answered, rushing to meet her despite her large tummy with child. Elizabeth, how are you? Mary said, hugging her. I'm, El I'm Elizabeth began, then suddenly stopped and held her tummy. Oh my, Mary, she said with a smile. At the sound of our voice, the babe leaped in my womb. What an event. It's an event that we own not only deal with during December months, but throughout the year. John, even in the womb, recognized the unborn Savior of the world and jumped for joy, for he knew the wondrous and magnificent work that Christ was coming to do. For those of us who claim to be Christians and are the bearers of Christ, can we say with certainty that at the sound of our voices, at our presence, or at our embrace, others can really leap for joy? Do we carry a message of hope and the gift of amazing grace wherever we go? The Christ in us ought to show through us and allow those in despair and desolation to rejoice at the sound of our voice. O oh God, allow us to know the reason of our being. Why are we here? To whom are we ministering? Allow our voice to be different as of this day, so that others will know that the Christ is in us. Amen. Here's my thought for today. Joy, joy, what a wonderful feeling. The Savior has come. He brings my healing. Have a great and godly weekend.